Calico is a casual life simulating game released in 2020 for PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. It was originally created on Kickstarter and could be compared to Harvest Moon or Animal Crossing. There isn't much in the way of a story. You move to an island that is home to a number of animals along with humans, magical girls, and witches. You move into a cafe with a loft upstairs and it is up to you to bring it back to life. The gameplay is easy enough. You wander around the island, meeting characters, doing tasks for them, picking up animals to bring back to your cafe, making foods for your cafe, and decorating your cafe. At the start, you're able to customize your own character and it has a lot of options to choose from. You can change your appearance after you start the game, including body parts. There are clothes and accessories you can buy from certain characters that can change you completely. It was pretty neat seeing all the customization that you can choose from. The cooking aspect is a bit strange. You shrink down to a tiny size and collect ingredients from the counter, then throw them in the bowl to make them. Once you've made a recipe, you can display it in your cafe to sell. There's no reason to cook anything more than once since the quantity of the item you sell never goes down even if customers purchase it. There are 21 recipes and most are cat themed and pretty cute. There are a number of villagers scattered around the island that you can meet and do quests for. Generally, each person only has two quests and then that's it. The designs are cute. You can tell the creators wanted to be as inclusive as possible since you usually only see one of the same body type in games like this. There are also a few same-sex couples on the island. Unfortunately, you don't really get to know them since there is no socializing with them once you complete their quests, unless you're buying from the ones with stores. There are a lot of animals wandering around as well. Each can be interacted with either by picking it up or by riding them if they're big enough. Once you meet an animal, it gets listed in your journal where you can assign them to stay at your cafe, follow you, or just free roam. I assigned as many cats as I was able to to stay at my cafe and turn it into the crazy cat lady's home. The types of animals you can meet is very diverse. Cats, dogs, foxes, ferrets, birds, pigs, horses, capybaras, polar bears, etc. You can hold up to two animals at a time by putting one on your head, so you can have one on your head, one in your arms, and be riding one. Magic potions are unlocked as you complete quests and range from turning animals huge, turning you into a cat, changing your hair color, and being able to fly on birds. The final gameplay aspect is decorating your house slash cafe. There's a huge catalog of items you can purchase and make the entire space yours. This was pretty fun and I like the appearance of most of the decor. Like I said earlier, there is no real story. You mostly just go around unlocking new areas of the island so the villagers can visit your cafe. Once you complete everything, there isn't much to do except clean up remaining achievements. There are a lot of glitches in this game and it gives it a kind of goat simulator feeling. Animals are stretched and ragdoll when you pick them up. The island is pretty in every area and you can find a lot of strange things in random places. You're unable to go inside most of the building, save for about three or so. It feels more like this was a concept for a game or a demo rather than a fully released game. There is a lot that could have been worked on. It feels very short and it's lonely once you're done with all of your tasks. It is entertaining, but I would recommend getting it if it's on sale because it's very short. It would be nice if the developers worked on it more, but it was released as is, so I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I just hit my keyboard. I hope you didn't hear that. Um, leave a comment if something something. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You guys mean so much to me. I'm so happy that people want to support me. I have some new artwork available for sale and I just hit my keyboard again. I have it as part of the merch subscription on my Patreon, or I also have it set up to items on Redbubble. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's done by my friend Lonnie, the artwork. And yeah, it's super cute. So maybe check it out if you want. Super cute. Anyway, thank you for watching.